Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. We are on the Cosmic DE. What I wanted to do was to go over it as much as I can when it's properly working and fully working on my Fedora 40 system. I installed this from a corp, which I'll leave in the link description below and you can test it out and do whatever you want with it. But yeah, here we are. We're on the uh, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070. We have 5900X, yada, yada, yada. It's all there. I'm thankful I didn't have to compile this. It can be a bit annoying to do, but watch this. When we minimize, look at that. The application is there and you can see it like sort of a preview. There's also a new app icon for all applets. So it's pretty nice. Looks a bit strange, but it works. And as you can see, videos are not displaying properly. I wonder if pictures are. If we go into screenshots, yeah, screenshots are displaying properly, which is nice. And there's no sound yet still, but let's start from here. So you have your desktop and your panel. Desktop and panel deals with launchers, workspaces, applications, minimize and maximize your panel. You can change this to automatically hide. Uh, you can also put a gap in between it so it looks like this. I find it kind of lame, so I'm, I'm disabling it. And so on. So you can configure the applets in here. We click it so you can add an app library button and a whole bunch of other stuff it's really is kind of useful you know a lot of this here is well it doesn't they don't really have settings here it'd be nice if they did because well sound has none at the moment unless you click this so there's that what else uh this is also where you control your dock so if you want to you can make it bigger larger smaller Honestly, that's enough for me. I don't need to change the uh, transparency value. Looks good. You can also maximize it if you want, you know, and configure it any way that you need to. I don't like having it maximized. It feels like Windows 11. And when I go to Linux, I want to escape Windows. So not a good idea for me. One thing I don't like is when you maximize it, it extends anyway. I find that's a bad decision. If this is going to be a dock, it should be treated like a dock, not like a taskbar. Hopefully they'll end up fixing that and adding an option in here. Next is in, actually wait, wallpaper. Still only fit to screen and fill. There's no stretch option or anything like that, but uh, cosmic desktop wallpapers are coming. Uh, they made quite a few of them, which is nice and appearance there's a new setting in here and it's apply to no maps which is nice uh the frosted glass theme does not work still so there is no blur on the dock or the uh panel up top unfortunately but if we went and enabled this this is actually working here we could uh reduce the size of the gap completely or keep it at five the window hint is kind of a dated concept but you can disable it completely if you need to oh and look it allows you now to change your icon themes so now i can actually switch to numic circle if i wanted to but i don't really think it applies because yeah let's try that we'd probably have to log in and log out to get that apply let's try this open it back up it seems to not be working at the moment it is what it is right uh, let's switch back to cosmic and try again yeah so it's not working at the moment but they are planning allowing you to trade your icon theme which is nice so this entire area is pretty simple uh this controls your theme in the background so if i did this we're all gonna just be blinded for a sec i kind of like this look a little bit better but then again this seems to fit most people's preferences uh the hint text is right there uh, control component we can change this so if we wanted to we can set it to like a gold almost kind of looks nice it doesn't look half bad and you can also make it so if there's a hint around the window it also becomes gold by clicking that up there yeah so far a lot of stuff's going into that here's your workspaces so they can span displays or uh, do whatever I believe there was a button I realized 
I can't figure it out no more. But, uh, I just like, no, let's try to open something up here. Yeah, I guess not. I'm trying to figure out how to like switch displays and stuff, but I know. Oh, oh, what was that? I don't know what that does, but it's a thing. Anyway, uh, moving things from one window to another works again, which is nice. So it's again, it's the shift win and then arrow keys. Yay. I'm glad that that works. Show number and workspace name. So we're going to leave those disabled because I don't really like workspaces at all. Uh, we went over that. We went over workspaces. Your notifications are basically blank. There's nothing in there. For input devices. This is what you get. And you got shortcuts, but they're not there yet. And for mouse, you can switch left click, right click, and mouse speed. Also enable a mouse acceleration, disable natural scrolling. For touchpad, this is it right here, but uh, these don't work. I tried them on my touchpad on, well, my laptop version of Fedora, and they did not function at all. So, even if you turn them on, it didn't work. But it's looking pretty good so far. Next is displays. And there's a bug right now where I cannot go to 165 hertz. And I don't know if they have VRR or not. It says there's VRR in a config, but I've tried it and it does not function. And then there's this. I doubt it's implemented at the moment, but it's good to know it's coming. Once again, there's nothing in sound, time and language, so your date, so on, time zone. There's pretty much nothing there, and nothing there as well. So yeah, uh, it's bare bones at the moment in settings, but it does what it does, which is nice. It's just a very super simplified desktop environment at the moment. And I know you guys can't see my mouse. Uh, that's another issue. OBS implementation is not fully done. I can't select my monitor. So when I go do videos like this, I have to unplug two monitors, plug them right back in, and then OBS is on the right window. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now these applications, so this application, the terminal is complete at the moment. And you know, bunch of stuff in here. I don't think the settings of every application matters, but you, know, you have light and dark. You can also import a theme if someone else makes a theme. There's your settings to match your desktop, change your header, everything like that. What does this do? Oh my God, we can go headerless. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, too bad we can't change the size of the header. It's a little bit too big for my liking. Advanced settings? Interesting. Ooh, that's a good setting. I like that. That boosts the brightness a lot. As for this, I would consider this extremely incomplete at the moment. Sure, Control H hides and shows files. Uh, are we able to copy and paste yet? Let's try this one because you're the lightest. Paste. Okay, good. Drag and drop. Where'd it go? So we're gonna click, drag. See, drag and drop is not implemented yet. What about you? Can I drag you to you? No, I cannot. So that's unfortunate. There's very little about this at the moment that works, I guess. But it is what it is, and it's currently work in progress. So I kind of can't fault them for that. You know what I mean? I've been testing some mods which has been nice. Okay. Let's move on to the next application, which I believe was the store. I want to see if anything's changed in there. Cosmic store got a new app icon. It looks really strange, but I mean, I can just hit favorite and put that there. It, it suits the dock a little bit, but I prefer the gnome. Uh, one instead because I don't know it just feels more organized yeah 
There you go. You can search for apps. Like, uh... I don't know. It's there. Not there either. What about in here? Nope. I don't think the store really works out too well. It just shows a basic, you know, list of applications and calls it a day. I'm not sure what else to show you, really. I mean, there's not much else. I don't like the fact that these show up in the menu at all. I mean, they should be private, like hidden, because it just looks messy. There's your about page right there. That looks pretty cool nonetheless. So again, when you minimize, your apps minimize to the dock, which is nice. And you can have multiple, multiple versions minimizing to the dock. And it actually looks pretty cool. I'm going to minimize OBS to the dock. And uh, I don't know if it's actually going to continue playing when you do this, but if it does, that's pretty good. Command not found. I have it installed and it's like, command not found. So Rare Jinx doesn't work with this, which is unfortunate. Hopefully they'll figure it out. X open display failed. So just copy that and pop that in here. And let's see what pops up real quick. There's just a whole bunch of man pages. What do we get when we type in Fedora? What is this? No, there's nothing really important in here about that. I guess Raging just has issues at the moment on the Cosmic DE. But here's the cool part. As you can see... This works. I haven't updated this in a while, though. All right. Um, I'm tired, and I just wanted to make you guys a better video on Cosmic because uh, the last one I did was a bit stretched. It didn't look very good, and most of the features weren't working, like the minimized dock and other stuff. It didn't really show off what it could be, what it really is right now. It is able to be daily driven, which is nice. If you're content creator, again, you're going to have difficulties with OBS and choosing a screen. But besides that, you won't really have much else. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe, like the video, share the video. And I will see you when this goes alpha. That's the next time I'll be updating this video. Bye, everybody.